Um, first off, this is like day four in a row that I have filmed, so I'm like really proud of myself. Um, but anyways, so I wanted to take advantage of the fact that I'm not in my dark, dark apartment and update you guys. So here we go. Um, let me adjust this. Okay, we're not going to adjust. I need it. I'm getting my hair cut for real like this week. It's happening because look at this. It grows so quickly. Okay, um, I cut my bangs every week, by the way. Or like twice a week, probably. Yeah. I do it though, because like, who has money for that? Okay, so update number one. Um, so I had been going back and forth about what I wanted to do with my macros, like cleansing, bulking, all of that. So what I decided I'm going to do is the first week of January, after all the holidays and my birthday and everything is out of the way, I'm going to repeat the cleanse, which is 10 days. It's just eating, I mean, I'm eating really clean anyways, but um, not eating as heavy as I would on my bulk, or at least not most days. Um, so that's gonna be the first 10 days of the month. And then I'm going to continue my bulk for like three to four weeks after that cleanse is over and then be done with it. I'll start a slow cut because um, the cleanse was very helpful and I know you're supposed to repeat it to really like kind of get everything out of your system, especially since my body has been messed up for so long. Like one run through I don't think is enough, um, but it was helpful. And it's also important, like even if you don't have di di typical digestion, <laughs> typical digestive issues or endometriosis or colitis or IBS or whatever it is, if you're bulking for a long time and really like forcing your body to eat all this food, giving yourself a break every, I don't know, month or two months or whatever, um, just to kind of let your body reset, it's good. It'll You'll notice a difference in your metabolism if you do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then as far as the cleanse and like endometriosis goes, um, I think that the, the pills that I was taking in combination with eating really clean helped a lot. I think that, or I don't really like the term eating, clean eating, but I guess that's what it is, is eating like real food, stuff where you don't need to list ingredients. Um, it's really helpful with endo. It's annoying and it's not fun and you know I think flexible dieting is awesome being able to like fit whatever into your macros but um, I've had a noticeable difference in how I'm feeling since I went back to eating like really clean foods so I'm gonna that's something I'm gonna stick with um, for all the people with endometriosis or other digestive issues I suggest trying it as well nothing like greasy oily hardly any chocolate, um, no bread, just like real food. It's helping. Um, so that's that. And then lastly, I am in the process of making a 12 week leg and glute focused program. It's like two work, two lower body workouts a week. Um, it's a 12 week progression because when it comes to progress, like fat loss is you can safely lose like one to two pounds a week um, if you're doing everything right, like gym and in the kitchen. Um, but when it comes to putting muscle on, it's a much slower process. And so 12 weeks is long, a good amount of time to provide like adequate growth. So that's what I'm working on, um, which I'm gonna offer for online. People reach out to me about it all the time and I was like, okay, why not? I can't train everyone in the world here in New York City, so offering a program for everybody out there it could be cool so that's what I have for you today I am posted up at editing videos current food is jasmine rice and ground beef garlic olive oil and brussels sprouts and a clementine and ginger tea um, but yeah, I'm just working on computer stuff today and trying to get stuff done because tomorrow's my birthday. Yay! 
I don't have any big plans. I want new sneakers <laughs> and a new tattoo. And I'm cutting this. Cause these aren't even bangs anymore. I don't even know what this is. I also want to dye my hair a little bit darker. Get low lights. I'm shaking this. Um, but I don't know, I'm just rambling. Yeah. <gasps> Woo! I almost dropped you. So, that's all. I'm wearing Adidas for once. Okay, I'm done. Later. Good morning. It is Wednesday, December 30th. Oh my god! It's my birthday, and I <laughs> just realized this. My polar watch, whoops, has like a little crown on it. Oops, that's so fun. Big care. Um, so the plan for the day, my friend Nora and Denise are coming over. We're gonna have breakfast. Still didn't get this cut. I'm um, making waffles. I'm gonna go work out and then go shopping. And I think I'm gonna get a tattoo today if they have time for me. So that's the plan. I'm gonna film a little bit, but also gonna enjoy the day. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make waffles. Here, let's go. Real quick, oops. My mom gave me this card. <laughs> Queen of amazing, because she knows. And I also, this isn't a birthday present, but I got my first Birch Box in the mail yesterday. If you don't know what Birch Box is, they send you sample size beauty products like hair, makeup, skincare um, each month. And then you can obviously buy like regularly, regular sized products if you like them, but it's awesome. And I got my first one. The, one. the woman, I take care of these two kids. Well, like 11 and 14. They're like hardly kids. Um, and their mom got me this for Christmas. So I got my first one today. I got a liquid eyeliner, which I'm kind of excited to try because I love eyeliner. Hair serum. Um, shea butter hand cream. I don't know. So it's cool. All these brands that I have like normally would never even know about. And they send it all in a cute little box. So that's fun. And also, because we haven't had sun in New York in like, focus, a good week or two, I use um, Tarte Cosmetics Brazilliance Lotion. Comes with like a, what's it called? I don't know, like a pad. Thing that you put on your hand to like rub it on you um, because my skin gets insanely pale in the winter and I like it and fake tanning in a tanning bed is really bad for your skin so I choose lotion it's like a nice lotion too it's my skin doesn't get that dry you can use it like all over your body and face so I bought that for myself yesterday because I ran out and I also bought a sample size of this one um, Benefit Cosmetics, their real mascara, which I've ha I've used it before. It's awesome. So I think it's my favorite non like drugstore brand mascara that I have tried. So I guess that's a beauty haul. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna show you guys. I think tanning lotion is fun though. So if you're in the market for it, they sell it at Sephora. And I've also bought it on Amazon before. I like it. And that's what's happening. I'm gonna make waffles. Hopefully I don't fuck them up, mess them up. Attempt number one. Hey, Who's gonna test? taste test? Well, I think everyone should taste test. I think there's enough to make three waffles. Well, why don't we each eat a piece Say hi. Of <laughs> Wait, I want to show them mine. Oh yeah, Denise's a little bit belated Christmas present. Flawless. Flawless. <laughs> it's a rug. <laughs>
hours. No, I, I mean, See, they're a success. But technically, we they just take a long time. Hi. Wait, look at her pants. <laughs> Is it clear on here? They're cool. They're like snake print, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Python. Python. Check out these Pythons. <laughs> Cardio. So I am currently doing the lunges. I'm doing stiff leg on the B squat machine. And I'm having endo pain, which started on Sunday night. But that's okay, I'm in good company. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> what? Is it time to go home? <laughs> Baby girl, you're so damn fine, though. <laughs> oh, God, my hamstrings. Are those for your hamstrings? Yes. Yeah, I feel them. I felt that. Retrospect. 
that this is a terrible idea. It is New Year's Eve and I'm in Midtown, like two blocks from Times Square. I don't know where they are. But we're going to get a dog, maybe? Question mark. <laughs> it's on. Say hi. Hello. Mark. Yeah. Brothers. Not the best idea to be in Manhattan <laughs> on New Year's Eve. I can't buckle, but like, we're not moving. I literally. We're totally surrounded by taxis. <laughs> <laughs> Post-cardio food, slash I had no vegetables yesterday. So, I feel like on your birthday you can eat whatever you want, but I had pancakes and then I had waffles. <laughs> and then I like had no appetite the whole day because I didn't feel well. And then my friend made me take shots. Hashtag not fitspo. So I'm gonna have veggies today. We, if we make if it we, out of the... In a, and then we're going <laughs> to die in this car. <laughs> Look at it. It's all cabs. Every, and everyone's honking because, you know, that helps. Sure does. It's fine. I can't move. Yeah, I was like, There's... drive safely because I can't buckle. <laughs> we could walk, I guess. Just leave the car and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it here. Birthday present from Mark. Where he turned the Christmas paper inside out. We're moving. <laughs> oh, we're moving. This is fun. Still all the cabs. For my gorilla pod. For so I can use my phone so I can bring it to the gym. Yeah. Mark, you get points. Sick. All right, we're Thank gonna, you. We're going well, this way. We also might change her name. She's so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um. So this is going to be my New Year's Eve now. Dog sitting for life. I'm so happy, but I'm gonna conclude this video here. Um, thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful, fun, safe New Year's, and I'm gonna play with my new little girl. <laughs> I will see you guys in 2016.